Hi, I'm Dr. Will DePaulo. Welcome back to another episode of the Gut Academy, where we talk about all things gut microbiome and how they relate to human health. Today, um, I'm continuing our series on the effects of the gut microbiome and our brain functioning and um, how those interactions can be um, used for modulating mood, depression, anxiety, and um, maybe be a treatment for neurological conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. So today I wanted to continue the series and basically just do a short video answering a question that I get asked a lot, which is, can I take a probiotic that will increase my mood, decrease my anxiety, and overall improve my cognitive function? And so probiotics, if you don't know, are formulations of live bacteria that when administered at a certain dose can provide some sort of health benefit. And there are many different types of uh, probiotics when you go to the health food store. They all contain various types and various different kinds of bacteria in them, and it can be very overwhelming. And, I, I, and if you don't have any sort of science background or you haven't been reading up on these bacteria, it can be really daunting. And so um, hopefully this video will help you and maybe give you an alternative to probiotics, which I think will be more effective at improving your mood. So probiotics are um, have been researched not widely with as far as depression and anxiety and cognitive function because it's a very new field and so we haven't gotten a lot of research out there yet. Uh, there's been some studies that have been done that have shown that lactobacillus and bifidobacterium probiotics do have an impact on the um, mood and anxiety but these were mostly done in animal studies and they uh, do not translate to humans um, in, the, in these papers. And so really the, pro, the data out there on human uh, benefit from probiotics on cognitive function and anxiety and depression is preliminary at best. So I think the alternative that you can do if you want to take control of your brain health and you want to put, take matters into your own hands, the way that you can do that is by eating foods that will feed the bacteria in your gut that have positive effects on brain function. So I'm going to take you through five different types of foods today that you should improve, that you should include in your diets to improve your gut health, which will then improve your brain health and have an effect on your cognitive function, memory, anxiety, depression, things like that. So the first type of food group that I want to highlight are foods that are ferment, um, I'm sorry, high in fiber. Foods high in fiber should be in included in everybody's diet because we're at like a fiber detriment in society. Our ancestors ate so much more fiber than we include in our lives. And maybe that's why their gut bacteria are completely different than modern day gut bacteria. But um, increasing fiber rich fruits and vegetables will feed the bacteria in your gut that are are good for you that are probiotic in their own rights. And that's because high fiber foods contain something called prebiotics, which is our natural foods for the probiotics that live in our gut. So these prebiotic fibers that you ingest will feed those good bacteria, they'll expand and grow, and they will have positive impact on your cognitive function and your uh, memory. They'll help you feel better and they'll lower your depression and anxiety. Uh, fi fiber rich foods include foods like um, oats, beans, lentils, air popped popcorn, uh, chia seeds, um, nuts like almonds, and uh, fruits like uh, berries, pears, bananas, apples. All those are really high in fiber and they're really good for your gut bacteria. The second category of food I want to talk about are fermented foods. Fermented foods um, are really important and I can't stress enough how much you should be eating fermented foods and how you should be including them in your diet. They provide a huge source of prebiotic fibers that feed those good bacteria, but they also provide probiotic bacteria because you have to have the probiotic bacteria in the culture to make the food become fermented. So, but when you ingest that sauerkraut or kimchi, you're also ingesting probiotic bacteria and you're feeding your good guys in your body. So it's like a double punch to your gut bacteria in such a good way. Uh, the probiotic bacteria that are in fermented foods also are usually lactic acid producers, which will lower the pH of your gut and make it much more difficult for pathogenic bacteria like salmonella or E. coli to create a niche for itself and set up an infection. And will also prevent those good, uh, those bacteria that are in your gut that might not be the best guys to have there from expanding and taking a niche over themselves. So between the probiotic, the prebiotic and the lactic acid, you can't go wrong with uh, increasing the fermented foods in your diet. And these include kefir, uh, sauerkraut, kimchi, uh, yogurts, 
all are fermented foods that will have good benefits for your body. Uh, the third food type that I want you to think about including in your diet if you want to include uh, increase your brain health are omega-3 fatty acid rich foods. And these include mostly oily fish like salmon. Uh, you can also take a supplements that have omega-3 in them, but I think that going to the source is actually always better than taking a supplement. So omega-3 fatty acids will increase bacterial diversity, and bacterial diversity is key to having good positive gut health. Uh, the more diverse your gut is, the more bases you have covered, um, and, and you just will feel better, and that's really what you want. So you want as many bacteria as possible, all about roughly the same number, but as many different types of bacteria as possible. Specifically, omega-3 fatty acids will um, help feed in, uh, bacteria called Roseburia. I've done a video on Roseburia, so check it out if you want to know more about them. Uh, but they also will increase Lactosporaceae and Coprococcus, which are all really good bacteria to have. They're core species that our bodies will need. And so uh, omega-3 fatty acids should be included in that list of foods to improve cognitive health. The fourth type of food are tryptophan-rich foods. Tryptophan is an essential amino, amino acid that we can't get from ourselves. We don't synthesize tryptophan. We have to take it into our diet. And uh, tryptophan is important because it's the precursor to molecules like serotonin and melatonin. And so serotonin is that feel-good neurotransmitter that you feel that is also a mood stabilizer. So it creates you from having these ups and downs and makes you feel basically pretty good. And so... Um, Tryptophan-rich foods are turkey, chicken, pumpkin, sunflower seeds are all good sources of tryptophan. Um, tryptophan also has a, in, uh, can increase your vitamin B3 levels, so that also is a, 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 another benefit. Um, the last food type that I would suggest you consider increasing in your diet if you want to improve your brain health is our, our polyphen polyphenol-rich foods. Polyphenols are micronutrients that are found in plants, and there's all there's 8,000 different types of polyphenols, so I'm not going to go into all of them today, obviously, but things like flavonoids or quercetin or resveratrol, which is in red wine and dark chocolate, and who doesn't want to eat more red wine and dark chocolate? Um, so there's also something called elagic acid, which is found in berries. I'm consuming... It's been shown that consuming over 650 milligrams of polyphenols daily will lower your risk of death um, because they are also antioxidants and they have really positive effects on cellular health. So in addition to brain function, polyphenols should just be part of your nu nutrient uh, regimen anyway because they are such a good source of all of these factors that I just mentioned. Polyphenol-rich foods include olive oil, olives, cocoa, uh, green tea, herbs, and spices. And so Increasing um, plant-based foods will also give you a lot more polyphenols. So overall, we went over five different categories of foods that you can use to improve your brain health by influencing your gut bacteria. Uh, hopefully that helped, and I think overall, just to summarize, the best advice here is to try to eat mostly plant-based diets that's really high in fiber and low in high processed foods and processed and refined sugars. You do those things, you increase your vegetable intake, all different colors of the rainbow is what you want on your plate when, as, it, as far as it goes with vegetables because all those different colors are different polyphenols and uh, you should start feeling better and your mood should improve. So until next time, I'm Dr. Will DiPaolo and this was the Gut Academy. Thank you.